If you or someone in your life is charged with retail fraud, this means shoplifting from a store, it's very important to understand both sides. It's important to understand that reaching out to me, the first instinct is to say, what are all the bad things that could happen to you and focus on those. What I tell my clients is let's take a step back, let's get out of that box and let's view the case as an outsider. And if you agree that shoplifting and retail fraud are, are, are a bad thing and it, it's a good law in the books and we want to prevent that, that's the first step. We need to understand that what happened here is against the law, we broke the law, and that's okay. And it's okay because you're human. It's okay because you're not of a criminal mind. You agree that crime should be punished. But now that you're charged with that crime, there's a temptation to say, well, I don't want the penalties for it. I want my outcome to be different. And that's not realistic. What we need to focus on is leading with empathy, to tell your story, to say, okay, that incident, I broke the law, but what led up to that? I haven't had one client in a decade tell me they decided to go to a store to steal, intentionally and did it on purpose leading up to it. My clients tell me they were in a store and it happened. And for a prosecutor and a, and a judge, that doesn't make a lot of sense because what do you mean it just happened? My clients, when they commit this offense, are going through difficult times in their lives. And this may mean family, their health, their work, something in their life has impacted their mental and emotional health where they're now in a position where they can't use their best judgment and they act out. And it's not planned, but it just happens. I've had people tell me I was in the store, the line was long, I got really frustrated and I thought I'd get away with it. Or I feel really underpaid at work or really overwhelmed, I'm working so hard. I felt like I needed to do something to make me feel better, to give myself a raise, to give myself a bonus. Sometimes clients just tell me that they're going through a really difficult time in their life and no one's paying attention to them. And they did this so people would pay attention to them be like crashing your car in order to get attention, to have the police show up, the firemen, the ambulance, for your family to see actual injuries from the accident and to give you empathy and compassion. It works the same way with retail fraud. People, they don't, they won't admit to it and it doesn't make a lot of sense, but when they do it, they do it for attention. And it's important that a judge and prosecutor understand that something in your mental and emotional health has led to this happening. And if we can target that and work on that, I don't think you should have a criminal record or go to jail because you broke the law. You're a human. If we can help those around us best understand why this happened, lead with empathy, gain compassion, that gives us a competitive advantage when we go to court in order to work out a great deal for you. My goal for any retail fraud case is that my client, when the case is over, doesn't have a record for retail fraud. My goal is that that client does not go to jail. That client learns from what happened and moving forward, best understands how to avoid breaking the law going forward. And it may be avoiding retail frauds, drunk drivings, fights with spouses, your mental and emotional state come out in different ways. And retail fraud is very common. And my clients need to understand that you shouldn't resist what happened. We can't change what happened. All we can do is work with what happened and go forward in a positive direction. So on the screen here, I have lead with empathy, gain compassion, Adopt a growth mindset. Understand that this is not fixed. Your problems in the present can be worked on and you're not going to be dealing with them the rest of your life. Ask for help, ask for support, ask for a plan. There's others out there that feel the same way.
thousands of my clients feel like you are feeling right now trapped the walls are closing in against you your life feels like it's out of control and this happened because of that mindset i can help you adopt a growth mindset that allows you to go deeper to understand why we're here together and to go forward with a plan and that plan involves being proactive that plan means doing positive things in your community and for yourself that puts you in a better mindset. At the end of the case, it's my goal that a judge praises you for the hard work during this case, for a prosecutor to say, yes, I understand why this happened. I understand that your client is not a criminal. I understand that, so I'm going to offer this path so your client doesn't have a criminal record the rest of their life and that they can focus on themselves. So if you are someone in your life is charged with retail fraud, it's scary. I know that. I understand that. But thousands of clients have been where you are today. And those clients contact me years later and thank me for helping them in this moment. So I look forward to helping you as well.